Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Akira Bailon, so we're thrilled to have you bringing this new work with me. Mm -hmm. uh, this work, uh, and I just saw it on video. Yeah. And uh, like I said, in the spirit of full disclosure, I thought, oh, well, I could just, um, I thought there were going to be snippets, but of course I had the whole thing, the run through it that Jacob's pillow. Oh, you watched the whole band? Yeah. Well, but that's what I'm saying. The caveat okay, yeah. is, okay, yeah. I, I tried to, how do I do it and be ready to speak to yeah. you now? So yeah. what I was doing was, because of the nature of it, I think I could jump forward. Yes, you jump could. Forward, you could. You jump could. forward. Okay. I, I understand that, but I had the feeling that I was doing a kind of violence mm -hmm. to what you have made. You, you talk about mm -hmm. time and the unschooling mm -hmm. or the uh, philosophy. What, what what goes? What's going on in this work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a um, a slowing down um, of time and um, ideally of sensitivity and mm -hmm. of perception. Um, and it's. I think I'm thinking a lot about how we're living in an attention economy. How you mean? Well, we live in a time where our attention is bought and sold. Mm -hmm. We live in a time in which um, we must actually grab our attention to or from away from mm -hmm. these addictive devices that every man, woman, child, and gender player mm -hmm. is addicted to and is actively carrying on their bodies. Mm -hmm. um, and our attention is, is yeah, is being, um, is it bought and sold, but also just uh, thinned, I think, thinned. from ourselves. Yeah, I, I think so. And as I was watching it, I mean, as I was allowing myself to feel, oh, she has really allowed me to see people um, unmediated. But mm -hmm. it's performance. Of course. The yes. images have been crafted. Yes, 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 yes. Could you talk about how those, yeah. those, those shapes and all, and the way yeah. that I thought this is, seems very intentional. Yeah, how it did, is. How did you make this? How did you... Yeah, it's, um, it's made through, you know, made through many layers, many practices. Um, practices? Yeah, a lot of practices. Um, my God, countless practices. We name all kinds of strange things, you know, because we're in a, a performance and dance rehearsal. So mm -hmm. one is called entity shifting. Mm -hmm. This is a practice where you put your body into the images of many other bodies and try to become them. Mm -hmm. um, and then you let it flicker through you. So it, as if it barely seen. So I might entity shift in just the subtlest of a way, imagining I'm becoming Bill T. Jones, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And it might change my bone structure slightly mm -hmm. in my mind, or mm -hmm. maybe it's a practice eventually of imagination, but it's, it's also, yeah, but it changes my presence. Uh, and it does, when my presence changes, it changes how you see me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we might be in these monumental um, tableau vivant shapes, yes, and that. yet we're shifting the image slightly through our energetics and our imagination, right? You might see me this way, but if I tilt my head, right, and open my mouth, you see me another way. And mm -hmm. so, so the, the layers and the physicality and the performance and the presence um, decrete and accumulate. Interesting word, I don't know, decrete. Decrete, I, I know it's, it's a, I, I, I think it means like things kind of seeping one into the next. Uh, as opposed to yeah. layering. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, hope I have that right. It's a, it's a beautiful word. I'll <laughs> um, you know. And so, and so, the, I believe, like you know, that material that has a materiality that is very hard to see on video, mm -hmm. of course. But I think when you're in the presence of those bodies, you see it sort of shimmering, yes. or changing. You see that uh, that was like that, but now it's like this. And as the world rotates, it becomes a kind of strange. Um, becomes a tableau vivant in which there is no central figure, there is no central viewpoint. We mm -hmm. don't know who, where the story is. Uh, there's no one vantage point on this story or on this image. As I watched it though, and I thought, now here uh, I'm using my eyes, uh, conditioned as I am, by my gender, by my age and all, yeah. who are people pushing and moving it? Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and of course I'm saying a work in progress, but there was a man yeah. and there was a woman. 
ah, but yeah. as a contemporary woman, if you're going to talk about the colossuses that move our world, uh -huh. you're not going to get caught in the trap of making them any of making them men. And then I noticed yeah. when I got forward that it had changed. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. And you know, calling them yeah. the colossus, what well, these wheels, mm -hmm. very apparent. Somebody is turning this type of mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 No. The the who pushes the who labors for it. The mm -hmm. who the the folks who push are are also part of the tech mm -hmm. team. Um, the performers push. I push. Um, mm -hmm. And in my fantasy world, someone might be so might be craving from the audience to get up and mm. push. Um, wow, not sure yet that will be invited. <laughs> <But there's... laughs> I was as I was mentioning your speech just a moment ago. Uh, I thought, oh my God, what must her notes be like? Oh my God, you're talking, you're talking about this inner process. Can mm. you create? How do you critique it? How do you control speed? How do you control? Yeah, no, this is this is this has actually been my. Um, if I, I have made a wild a, a beast that mm -hmm. is too big for me to actually be able to say you weren't exactly in the right place when I, wow. in that moment, right? Because I I could they could be over there when that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it could be not in front of me. So, in a way, the philosoph the, the philosophy of the work which is this excessive detail, this is too much, there will always be failure. It, there's no one central view on this mm -hmm. story. We can't find one right way to see it, mm -hmm. has now also impacted me, the maker of it. That so I, you have to give in to it. I have to give in to that. Yeah, and that's, and that is scary. And yet it's not improvised. You, you're very, uh, when I, every work of yours I've been taken with the breadth of it and the, the Daring of it, but I have a feeling that this is uh, the reason you have the reputation you have mm -hmm. because you are a, you're a taskmaster and you mm -hmm. make demands. Yeah, you're something it might look like you're looking at um, something, one thing, but it's actually something else. Is that true? That you're really controlling? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am. I am. I am very controlling. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that there's something alchemical going on at the mm -hmm. same time. So if, if I think of like a cook or like, you know, someone working with a, a lot of um, perfumes and scents and it's like I'm, I'm massaging the thing into its shape, mm -hmm. you know? And so there, it's not that there aren't loose ends or there are areas where there's um, a lot of agency or room, but the, it has been very chiseled. Mm -hmm. and use mixing many metaphors here, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it has been very chiseled and um, yeah, one of the one of the tensions I think I always experience in my own life is is that balance of of um, control and um, kind of like overwhelm and release and surrender, mm -hmm. you know. And so I think that's really that's really in a lot of the DNA of my projects. It's like I can control something so much that it's actually a thing of impossibility. Uh, a thing that it's impossible to truly control. I I've created a structure that I deeply carved into, and in the end, I I can't actually fully. Mm -hmm. um, it will vibrate on the edge of collapse. <laughs> vibrate on the edge of collapse. <laughs> right in stone. Uh, uh, I was going to ask you. This might be a little. Uh, you can tell me if you don't want to answer this. But when I saw the solo, was it Janet told me or someone said that your mother died? Mm -hmm. That piece about the this material, things melting yeah. and things. Yeah. So that piece yeah. was really informed by some emotional state or mm -hmm. set of questions you had. Yeah. Uh, mortality? Absolutely, yes. And so yeah. that's related to where you're at right now, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, mortality has been very much on my mind. Um, mm -hmm. um, in a you know, in a way that I don't think it is when you haven't experienced some intimate deaths. Mm -hmm. and, and I experienced two biggies, my mom and then my dad, really quite close to each other. Quite close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so and was with them through their last breath. Um, mm -hmm. which is a profound and incredible experience. And a privilege. Of and a beautiful privilege, yeah. Having come out of COVID, and how many yeah. of us are, are not able to even touch our loved ones at the end of their life, you know, 
I didn't know. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm just, they, they both passed before, and I'm, yeah. I, and I, yeah, watching the others. Well, my friend, what was in California? Did you grow up in the Bay Area? No, no. Okay, there's those photos were from the Bay Area. Yeah, my family, my okay. family moved out there in the, in the 70s. Okay. Uh, at least, yeah, I was the first one hitchhiked out. And then I, yeah. uh, then they all came out uh, when things were allowed. People had problems with incarceration and so on. So when that happened, then they all went west. And, so, yeah. how for you, so. California, so my mother lived in Los Angeles and my father lived in the Bay Area. So I went back and forth between the small town in the Bay Area and uh, Los Angeles growing up. Are you an only child? I had a brother, uh, yeah, and a stepbrother. And yeah. a stepbrother. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, as I was watching it now, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sort of speeding through because I'm trying to yeah. keep it to a certain Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you talk about the intense intimacy of with the observer with the work is there a maximum audience that you that this work can be performed for this work um this work we're exploring the parameters of how far out how many you know rows back we can go um here we're, we're trying to get in the maximum seating mm -hmm. of live arts and mm -hmm. i'm excited to to get as many people in as we can but yes. at least we can't go past probably four or five rows back before you lose some of the exquisite detail mm -hmm. that's in the work. Um, and the challenge of the work, if someone is spitting, mm -hmm. or if someone is touching another person in a way that's maybe a little, could be triggering, yeah. could be all of those things. Yeah, yeah. There's no, you can't escape. Right. You don't want us to escape from it. No, I don't want you to, um, I don't want you to sit back and and watch it like a screen, you mm -hmm. know, from afar. There are some amazing images that you have there. Yeah, you know, yeah. A person half dressed with two other persons uh, appear to be holding them down, but I don't think it was only a moment, but mm. or, or, and then there's expressions and all. There are yeah. some harrowing places that you're suggesting. Mm -hmm. But you know that, right? Yeah, I think that the thing is, is that the work has this kind of um, um, I have this interest and I think the work expresses a kind of indeterminacy. Mm -hmm. So the imagery in the work isn't super foreclosed and mm -hmm. it doesn't land in places where you say, oh, that's definitely that. Mm -hmm. it, it opens up this kind of ongoing inquiry into what is that? Where are they? What's well, happening? You hope it does, right? I hope it does, yeah, yeah. But of course I don't know. And of yeah. course people will see many, many things in it, and it is bodies in, in, in intense entanglement, and that is going to evoke a lot of things mm -hmm. and a lot of stories that I don't, I can't control. Mm -hmm. I can't control all that comes up in the mind of the observer. You know, I'm sure you've heard it as much as I certainly have heard it. Audiences have changed. Yeah, yeah. People are, you know, people do want trigger warnings. They do want... Um, yeah. They don't catch me blindsided, or you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, I love what I like about your work is yeah. I think you're a badass. Mm. Now, I, I, mm. I know that's not your brand, but I, from the mm. moment I saw your work and I, and I mm. with the solo, mm -hmm. what you're willing to do and what you're daring me to look at or imagine. Um, that's, a, mm. that's a responsibility, isn't it? Mm. I wouldn't say you have your do so, but you are there's something combative in you. Is that true? You would say I have my dukes. No, I'm asking. Oh. I wouldn't say you have dukes, but I want. I suspect there's something combative. This mm -hmm. world, you're not cut yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you? I'm speaking for you now. What do you think? Yeah, about this that? is an interesting question. I almost I would want to chew on a little bit more to be able to answer with with depth, depth and honesty. Mm -hmm. maybe? I think there's just certain things in, that I, I don't feel, um, hmm, that I personally want to experience, that I want to be close to, mm -hmm. that I um, 
I think in a way they can be scary, but they're also a, a great offering, a great um, invitation into our deepest vulnerabilities, into our fears. Mm. And I don't go to these places like, ah, you know, like, ah, just, um, at this point, I think I did it at a younger time, mm. but at this point I feel this feeling like I'm really interested in capacity. I'm interested in capacity for more not less of this experience, of this life we're having, of this body, these bodies we're in, mm. and, and... Capacity for more. Mm. Yeah, throw some words at you. Yeah. Uh, empathy. Mm -hmm. You want to riff on that? Would riff on empathy? Yeah. Just as a word on its well, own? I'm, because I yeah. think that what you're talking about is the, yeah. the way you, you encounter the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does empathy fit into that? Yeah, empathy does. It does fit into that. It fits into, um, I would say empathy, I would say intimacy. Intimacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, uh, yeah, I guess I can, I'm thinking of capacity again, or range, or um, the multitudinousness of mm -hmm. things. Um, mm -hmm. What's your experience with the way audiences are now? And how oh, you, yeah. my sister, we just talk. Yeah. This question yeah. is so uh, hot with me right now because of a recent experiment I had, but yeah. I won't go into it right yeah. now. I'm shaking right now. Yeah, right, and something. you don't need to do this in front of the camera no, too. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The other one, and, and I, I'm not afraid to, I'm not going to feel some reason you've always made me feel encouraged mm. to not lose sight of something mm. that I think I have been and that I'm potentially going to be able to. Beauty. Mm. What about beauty? What about mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think that yeah, beauty is a part of my work. Mm -hmm. And as is um, virtuosity, you know? Some of those things on that no manifesto that Yvonne made all those years ago, mm -hmm. I have fully said yes to. Mm -hmm. I think that also. Oh, she denied them. Right, right, right. right. She then no, right. their no's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think that, um, I think in a, I feel like in a lot of contemporary work, beauty is there and, and telling that it's not in mm -hmm. some ways. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the beauty in my work is quite extravagant. I mean, there, there's some parts of this piece that are almost like a Baroque kind of, or a Renaissance painting or well, something. I think it's like, very obvious, isn't it? That I, that yeah. I thought when I saw the opening, which I love, oh, yeah. oh, the Raptor of Medusa. Mm, this mm. person is not afraid of our history. Yeah. This is yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the way that they're, they're doing it, it, at first I thought, oh, that's like a move thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. something that a 19th century person, mm -hmm. an idea they might have had, mm -hmm. but not 19th century. No, so, no. And it's moved by great romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Watching your work, why Walt Whitman comes to mind. Interesting. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, all yeah. about the body. I am everybody. I am everybody. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Electric. I contain multitude. I contain multitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any of that land with you, or is it me throwing stuff at you? It does land with me, and I feel like it's it's also like I've that the work. One of our references has been this Bill Viola video. I don't know ah. if you see it, where there's a big they're spraying water at these people, and they're all slowly being hit by it. Mm. Um, so yeah, it definitely feels like it's got this the sense of the epic, the sense of the monumental. Mm -hmm. Um, and romantic. And, and I suppose in some ways there is the big romantic gesture, but there's also so much of the grotesque in it mm -hmm. um, and of these other sort of indeterminacies, these failures. Um, that failures? Are failures, you say? Yeah, 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 the failures that, I mean, the failure of a, of a thing being able to actually like I said, the excesses of it. Mm. It's its uncontainable. <laughs> um, the, the body drips, the things fall off, the the objects collapse, the, mm. you know, the breasts sag. Mm -hmm. the, so I think in, in, the, in that sense, it, it is definitely not in the romantic 
you know, worlds in the, in the soft focused <laughs> world of things. I was wondering as I was watching it, as I watch work, work like yours, that is freewheeling around mm -hmm. gender, mm -hmm. around race, and so on. Mm -hmm. What would it be like for me to watch it if the whole cast was black? Mm -hmm. Would it even would it work mm -hmm. if they were all black, all Asian? Uh, what have you? Would it? Would the work would it work if they were all white? You think? Well, that it would work. It would, right? It, because we, our eyes have white been folks have permission to be it's universal. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's an interesting question. I haven't thought of that. Okay, I'm just yeah. it's my opportunity yeah. to talk with you because I yeah. respect so much your yeah. courage and that big heart of yours. Mm. You know, is mm. what I'm getting at. And it makes me want to interrogate. Mm -hmm. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Is it possible a person could be that evolved, that open, that brave, mm -hmm. that generous, that loving? Mm -hmm. uh, or is it another posture? The postures I've been afforded uh, and I've had to take to yeah. get over, you know? Right. God damn. Yeah, I mean that's I don't think we can avoid our postures and our, you know, um, and our defenses and mm -hmm. our um the, the body that we happen to be embodying and born in and shaped by mm -hmm. and um i think we can only inquiry inquire into it and, yeah. and, and say well and, and wonder what might it be like and and make the work and say well this could be seen this way and this way and this way and mm -hmm. i'm going to keep trying to find those spots where it keeps you in a question and let's You're, not be determinate about well, who these bodies are and what they're right. doing and what they're, oh, that, that person's black and that person, and they're doing that, and that must mean this, and you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. No, that's unavoidable in this world. Yes, it's true. But I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to be living in the, um, well, the effort need, and the labor to have tried to make it like Made the, made the effort. I, yeah. So looking at weathering, I thought that this is a work um, for this era. Mm -hmm. That seems to oh, oh she leaps over all those questions quotes. Mm -hmm. She leaps over all of the bifurcation. She leaps over all of that to some higher plane. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm getting at. If that is, uh, mm -hmm. and I hope when they direct that at you, that mm -hmm. you say thank you, no thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm saying no thank you right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Faith, this is uh, just the beginning of a conversation between yeah, you and I. Yeah, no, thank I hope you we can so speak much. More. Yeah. yeah, it's been one of the better conversations I've had in a long time. Oh, you are thank really, you. you are wanted to speak with. Oh, so, thank you. Yes. Yeah.